Woohoo! Welcome back to a special Christmas edition of making my version of my snacks with mango and apple salad. All of this is under $20 for three people, so let's get to it. So right here we've got about 250 grams of beans that we're going to be cutting. So what we're going to do is cut the tip of it, then we can slide that down in the middle, getting that middle piece out like so. And once that's done, we're going to cut the other end and then we're going to cut into three pieces on an angle. So we're going to do that to the rest of the 250 gram beans that um, I bought from the Asian, eh, Asian grocery that was $2.50. So we're going to repeat that for the rest of the green beans. And obviously before I've done this, I've washed it. So hopefully you guys wash your green beans as well. Now we're going to be cutting the bok choy. First of all, you've got to wash that. Um, I washed this before the video started. And now we're going to be cutting it into an angle like so in three pieces. When I tasted this, when you see it in the mukbang, it did not taste good. But for the sake of this video, I've actually added it into it just because this is my learning process. So for my future self and for anyone else watching, do not add bok choy into your Aussie snack bowl because that ain't pretty. <laughs> well, it didn't taste good, should I say. It was just too bitter and the flavors just didn't complement. But this is how you cut the bok choy for future reference. Next, we're cutting two freshly washed tomatoes in half. They're in quarters, they're in one eighth. So both these tomatoes cost $2. And once you're done cutting them up like so, we're going to be placing it into the same bowl as the bok choy. Alright, now to join up my favourite summer fruits is the mangoes. So we're going to slice it in three quadrants. And in the middle quadrant, we're going to be cutting off the skin. And once that's done, we're going to be slicing that into little pieces so that we could put that onto our salad. Then using our last two quadrants of the mango, we're going to be slicing it into a grid. Then once that's done, we're going to repeat that same process to the other side as well. Then we're going to be scraping out this deliciousness with a spoon. Because my cutting of the grids weren't deep enough, I'm going to be slicing it up again onto the board so that we get these nice cubes. Then you'll cut up your avo in half and then we're going to slice that into little pieces like this, removing the seed from the inside first and then we're going to scrape that out later on so that we can put that on our salad. Then we're going to add some coconut oil to this medium heated pan, letting that melt so that we can cook our meat. So the first meat we're cooking is the pork sausages, which is around 250 grams, which was $1.50. So we're going to let that cook until it's brown. And we're going to be flipping that side to side and using our good old wooden chopsticks. Then once that's cooked, you're going to place all the sausages onto a clean dish. And then we're going to start cooking our porterhouse steak which was 200 grams for $5 and we're going to be seasoning that with some salt and pepper we're going to be using the same seasoning on the other side once we flip it and it's been cooking for about 5 minutes on low to medium heat so we're going to be cooking that side also for another 5 minutes and setting that to the side so that we can rest and cook for a bit now we're creating a salad we're using a wok and we've already put in some coconut oil now I'm adding the red onions and a few of that green shallots that we've already cut before this video. Then we're going to stir that around with the chopstick so that we get those onions looking and tasting very good. Once the onions have softened up, we're going to be adding the green peas that we've already cut. And we're going to be stirring that until the colour of the pea actually changes to a darker colour. And you'll see the color change in the next frame now. So after the color has changed a little bit, we're going to be adding the bok choy in as well. And we're letting that soften up a little bit because later on we're actually going to be cooking up this stir fry again and adding the meat. So by then that's going to also make everything a bit more cooked. 
Then I'm going to be adding some cardamom and oregano just for a little flavor. Then we're going to mix those spices in and then once that's good, then we're going to add some of those tomatoes in and soften up a little bit. Once the stir fry is half cooked, we're going to be cutting the steak. Now for my steak, I realized that it's not fully cooked, which is my preference. So I'm cutting it and then later on I'll be putting it back onto the flat pan and cooking that up. So once the meat has been cooked, we're going to put the stir fry back onto the heat, adding all that juiciness of the meat back onto our salad and cook that a little bit more so that everything's thoroughly cooked and then we can finally plate up. So I'll cut the sausages in half like this and we'll put that onto the plate then we'll put our stir fry on with our good meat then I'll add on the mango and the avo and then squeeze a little lemon and there you go. It's your Christmas meal for whenever you want to eat for you and anyone else that you want to share this meal with. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you want to celebrate Christmas with me, join me on my next video of my mukbang of this dish I created and hopefully you did too. Alright, take care guys and Merry Christmas!